So this all side it's positive. So now we're going to start connecting the negative. So now, uh, this whole line goes to the negative terminal of the battery. So what we're going to do, since we need the push, push button in place, we're going to place the push button uh, at the negative side. Uh, for the push button, it can be placed on either side, whether the negative or the positive. So for this one, since I do not want too many components this side, I, uh, I'll put the push button this side. So now this line <coughs> it goes back to the battery now to the negative terminal. So just have to make it big. So now for our battery connection, now that everything is in place, for, our, for uh, when co connecting your components to the battery, you first begin with the positive terminal, which is this side. Uh, you have it written here. If it's not written, you can check your you can check the terminals to see which one is bigger and which one is smaller. So the bigger, the bigger side is the positive and the smaller side is it's the negative so I'll just switch my battery this way so when connecting you first begin by connecting the positive terminal
uh, you should make sure to say it is tight and putting it in place then the last component uh, this side you connect the negative It should also be tight. <coughs> okay. So now that our component is connected, uh, So now that our component is uh, is is done, uh, you can now see to say the fuse from the battery to the fuse, from the fuse to the to the relay, which is eight, then eight, uh, which is thirty. Sorry, thirty, then then eighty six. They have to be bridged. Uh, for this connection, for the relay and the fuse. Uh, these two can be found if, if say it was on a car, these, these components can be found uh, in the fuse box uh, that is in the vehicle. Uh, you, you have it written on the fuse box cover to say uh, the relay for the horn and the fuse for, for the horn also. So from the relay, now this one this line the 87 it go uh, it, it comes from the relay and it goes to the horn and from the horn you have a push button which uh, so this will help us to turn on and off our circuit so now that we have everything in place we can now try to switch it on So as you can see, it's working. Uh, the horn, the ho you, you can hear the sound from the horn. It's working. So that's that for this circuit.